In these problems, we're trying to solve some equations that sort of look like they're in quadratic form, except they either have negative or fractional exponents. So in this first one, we've got 12x to the negative 2 plus 8x to the negative 1 plus 1 equals 0. If those were positive exponents, that would be a normal quadratic form. Well, we can solve this with a very similar approach to the way we would solve a quadratic equation. So my first piece of advice would just be to imagine this is a regular quadratic equation and, and see if we can factor it. And let's see, I think we can factor this one. So I think you'd come up with 2x plus 1 and 6x plus 1, and that would add up to 8 and multiply to 1. Um, but so if this was a regular quadratic, that would, would be our two factors, except we've got negative exponents, so this is going to be x to the negative 1, x to the negative 1. So that's the first step. Now I want to try to solve both of these factors the way I normally would, so I'd set them equal to 0. So we'd have 2x to the negative 1 plus 1 equals 0. Oops, 0. We'd subtract 1 from each side, so we'd get negative 1 over here. 2x to the negative 1, we'd divide by 2. So I've got x to the negative 1 equals 1 half. Now we need to just to think about what is x to the negative 1. Well, that's the same as 1 over x. So I've got 1 over x equals negative 1 half, and if I want to cross multiply here and solve, I can solve for x equals negative 2. Let's try this other factor. I do the same thing. 6x to the negative 1 plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1 from both sides. 6x to the negative 1 equals negative 1. Divide by 6. x to the negative 1 equals negative 1 sixth. That is the same as 1 over x equals negative 1 sixth. And x equals negative 6. So, not too much different than solving a regular quadratic. Let's look at one with fractional exponents here. Now we've got um, negative 4a to the 2 thirds power plus 6a to the 1 third power plus 4 equals 0. Still has that general form of the quadratic, except we've got these fractions up here. Again, I would encourage you just to go about solving this as if this were a normal um, quadratic by trying to factor. And I think if you did that, if this was a normal quadratic, you'd come up with 4a plus 2 and negative a plus 2. Let's see, does that work? Yeah, you're going to have 8 minus 2 to get the 6 in the middle, and it multiplies to 2. Okay, that works. But since our, our powers here are 2 thirds, 1 third, and, and 0, uh, we're going to have 1 third here and 1 third here. Now we'll go about um, solving these factors by setting them equal to 0. That would be 4a to the 1 third equals negative 2. Uh, and over here, we would have negative a to the 1 third equals negative 2, which is a to the 1 third equals 2. And over here, we would divide by 4. We would get a to the 1 third equals negative 1 half. Now, when we get to this point, a to the 1 third equals negative 1 half or 2, what do we do next? Well, a to the 1 third is the same as the cube root of a. And I can solve this by simply cubing both sides. And what I get over here is a, and what I get over here is negative 1 eighth. Same thing over here. This is cube root of a equals 2. And when I solve that, I get a equals 8. So our answers here are negative 1 eighth and 8. So that's a little bit about solving these uh, equations that are in quadratic form with negative and fractional exponents.